vocals. What? Oh no, this one might be my favorite. Oh, hi. Sorry. I was so engrossed in the experience of listening to the album. I did not even do my outro. And I'm still not going to. I'm just going to get it again. I'm going to keep going. Uh, this is part two of my depth first listen. I've already reacted to the title track and the first two B-sides. It'll be the video right before this on my channel or you can find it in my NCT playlist, but I would recommend that there's a lot of things in the NCT playlist, so you will find it faster. <laughs> <laughs> you just look for the video directly uploaded before this. Anyways, a uh, bad euphoria. Let's get right into this. We've already gone through the first three. Save you is my favorite so far. But let's see what we've got. All right, bad euphoria. Ooh, this is very early 2000s so far. Yo, this voice of his. The effect on it too. Okay, hold on. Classic. This is giving 80s vibes a little bit in the type of rock it is. The influence, it's. I'm here for it. <laughs> but these drums are so interesting. Oh. oh. This kind of Delivery. Vocals. Oh, they took the filter off his voice and it hit clear. Oh, when he gets this raspy tone to his oh, it's so delicious. Hey. Love a clap. I'm going to the concert. Jeez, it's so good. These adverts. Ah, oh, the guitar. Oh my goodness. Do you hear him in the background? Oh. Oh, this is his genre. Oh, 
Do you hear him with the ad libs? Right now. <laughs> Vocals in the back. Yuta, why is this so good? <laughs> Yuta, this is too good. I can't speak. I can't speak. I can't speak. Bruh, I can't get over these vocals. This vocal performance that Yuta is putting on for us in this album is like a dream come true. Like, it's actually like a dream come true. I'm actually shook. Uh, bruh, I don't know what to do with myself. This is everything I could have ever wanted in a year to solo debut. Oh my god. Yes! Sorry. It's atmospheric. Oh. Oh. Notice any one of these songs could have been a title track. Any one of these songs could have been a title track so far. They all have the appropriate amount of dynamics to them. The epicness. Oh, Ooh, vocals. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> The vocals, bitch. The vocals. The vocals. <laughs> the vibrato. Oh, Yurta, you have outdone yourself. SM, you will pay for your sins. You will get your reckoning. <laughs> I mean, you're already kind of getting your reckoning because people keep leaving you. But goddamn, SM. <laughs> Whoa. That vocal sample in the background, right there. I'm being controlled. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm being controlled. <laughs> no, I'm not sorry. It's NCT. What do you expect from me? It's YouTube. What do you expect? This beat here. Hey. <laughs> this chorus. The melodies of this chorus. him singing in the background. <laughs> so atmospheric, bruh. <sighs> it's being able to hear it. Even the mixing is very J-Rock. Oh, I love it. <laughs> These vocals! <laughs> so 
Suddenly Prisoner might be my favorite. Suddenly Prisoner might be my favorite. If only because this this ending. What? Wait. No, sorry. Goodbye. Oh, this is, I just song switch up might have just made this my favorite song. What? What the fuck was in the back? Oh, whoa. We love ambient sound. It adds to the drama. Ah, oh, the guitar presence on this album is so nice, bruh. Mmm, melody. Ah, uh, oh, these vocals! Ooh, strings! <laughs> this is giving anime, um... <sighs> this is giving anime ending. <laughs> just, we're just spending good start of goodbye. This makes me feel most nostalgic, bro. No, oh my goodness. Thirteen-year-old me is living. Love that chord progression. This is so good. I have to say goodbye the middle of the Vocals. I know that he's performed Butterfly at a, at a concert before, but I've never seen it, so I've never heard it. <sighs> oh, Utah, the rock star you are. I like the inclusion of the acoustic guitar. Oh! Oh, melody, bruh. Oh! Oh, I Oh, the... Come on, what could I 
Oh, it got so epic! Wow. Ooh, that's so epic! This is also giving anime video game opening. In the prediction. Oh, the, when he does these, that rasp to his tone. Oh! What is the non-jump version? Vocals. He's harmonizing with himself in these epics. Oh no, this one might be my favorite. These piano chords oh, in the background. No, this one might be my favorite. Oh no, I think this one. I'm sorry, I'm being so dramatic. <laughs> Goodness. <sighs> you see, <sighs> the crazy thing about being a reactor, right? that now I have to like 
put that experience to words. <laughs> and I don't actually know what to say. Other than it was perfect. Yo, the guitar, the use of the guitar, the presence of the guitar, the rock elements, the hard rock, the alternative rock, the kind of old school rock. Very consistent. Yuta, you're the rock star you are. The rock star you are. Of course, my favorite moments. Ibra, I've said this before um, when it comes to um, just like rock and like rock influences when it comes to K pop. Um, I definitely lean more into like like me i'm a hard rock like heavy metal like emo like punk like intense like i need heavy electric guitar i need bro i need some screams here and there like i am trying to headbang i am trying to headbang and have a full body experience when it comes to rock music it's not that i don't like other like kind of sub-genres of rock I do but that is really what gets me and that's really what gets me so the most intense parts oh my goodness bruh there's metal moments there's like new metal moments kind of emo oh my goodness I was bruh, I was I was getting evanescence I was getting Linkin Park I was getting oh my goodness uh, you just the rock star you all and the best part was that his voice sounded phenomenal throughout everything 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 he said i am a rock star he said i am a rock star and you will hear me <laughs> i am going to sing and layer my vocals and give you all these moments ah oh, delicious this is no, like I'm actually this is this like couldn't be more perfect. Like <laughs> And that's saying something because I literally thought every solo debut from Ed C T this year, I've been in my head of just like this is so perfect for them. I feel like this is like the most perfect for you to like I'm so like bruh bruh Oh my goodness. This is so my vibe too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Aesthetically, ooh, <laughs> this is so my vibe. <sighs> I don't know what to do with myself. I guess I should try to rank them. I don't think I have anything else productive to say other than you to the rock star that you are. Oh, and my SM rant. SM, you will pay for your crimes because Utah has been so severely underutilized, bruh. When, bruh. Utah has been so severely underutilized in NCT. And it's crazy because it's not like it's just. Sometimes they'll utilize him, like, really, really well. And really, really good but then other times it's like they forget about him and i just can't and they've just no oh, no no utah no the way but the resources and attention and care and just support that utah deserves as an artist i don't feel like sm has really given it to him since his debut. I think that's actually kind of a thing across 127. But, like, it's particularly noticeable with Utah because it, like, also extends to, like, the Lion distributions a lot of the times. Like, we have never heard enough of Utah. And so the fact that we get to hear him and only him, no collabs, no collabs, bro. I'm not sure if any of the producers like provided like background vocals or anything, but I see Utah. I see Utah. No, bruh. The way, bruh, the way he ate. The way he ate. The way we just got to hear a whole mini album with just his voice and him showing us everything he can do. Everything he is capable of. Oh, we'd love to see it. I'd love to see it.
And you never know. Maybe it could be that you that it just took this amount of time for you to, to feel comfortable putting it out. Maybe it's... No, I don't know. I, as a child, you have been hiding you to it for us for too long. For too long. For too long. But this can't be hidden. This cannot be denied. But I'm, so, I'm still a little irritated that I had to like... <laughs> search the depths of spotify to find this that's crazy bro but you to the star you are the i'm so impressed oh yes i love you just so much. oh well what a year to be an end citizen bro in so many ways what a year damn Thank you, Utah. Mm. That was delicious. Oh my goodness, and the military ain't gonna take you away. You take that comfort at least. <laughs> they not gonna get Utah. They not gonna get Utah at the very least. So SM, I better see Utah all over these coming years. I better, I need Utah to be in the rotation. I need I need consistency. I need a concert. I need a tour. Whatever wants to, whatever you don't wants to do, it must be done. It must be done. <laughs> you have to. You just have to. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It would only benefit you. It would only benefit you. This quality, like allowing this quality to shine, it would only benefit you, in my humble opinion. Anyway, so look. <laughs> Let me rank them. Um. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I think Butterfly Depth version is actually my favorite, but it's really duking it out with Prisoner and Save You. This is interchangeable, basically, the top three, but for right now, we'll go with Butterfly as my number one. We'll go with... Oh no, Save You is longer. We'll go with Butterfly as my number one. Save You as my number two. Prisoner is my number three. Off the Mask, number four. Last song, Goodbye, Bad Euphoria. Yeah, that's my current ranking, but it could change at any point in time because all of these are a slap and a slay and it's a no skip. And I will be listening to this album. You will be seeing this on my top 10. <laughs> J-pop singles slash what songs of the year at the end of the year. You tell the rock star you are, the talent you hold, the power you have. I am glad we are getting but a portion of it in this project and this release. And I cannot wait to see what's going to come from him and his solo career. I just, just, oh, this is so brilliant. This is so brilliant. Man, I'm so happy. My, something in my heart is, just feels warm. <laughs> Can't even explain the experience, bro. But if you're a Utah stan, if you're an end citizen and specifically a Utah stan, and you've followed them and watched his journey throughout the industry for as long as I have, or if you know the context of everything of Utah as an idol, then you probably feel the same way, bro. Like, it's like, ugh. Anyways, look, if you made this far, thank you so much for doing this for me. And whatever this was over you to like, comment, subscribe, if you so choose, let me know what you thought down below. I will see you all in the next one. Let me know your top, whatever, your ranking, your favorite track, whatever you want to let me know. I'll read it. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, no, wait. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> <laughs>
いなかったならいい経験じゃねえか発言を取り消せ言い訳なのではない He really said, Y'all bitches placed a seventh, and I took that personally. I don't think that's gonna be the right answer. Oh, that was the wrong answer.